Good evening everyone. This is Vrishali. In previous session we discussed about transaction and transaction states with examples. I have mentioned complete database management system playlist link in below description box. Now in this session we will discuss about the next most important topic that is acid properties. So let's start the session. In this channel you will get a complete point wise easy explanation, practical demo and question bank of following subjects. Please like and share these videos with your friends and subscribe the channel. So you will get the notification regarding my new coming videos. Next. Now the first point is why exactly acid properties. See you can perform different operations on the database, different transactions on the database. So at that time your database remain consistent, your database remain accurate before and after the transaction. That's why there are acid properties. This acid properties ensure that the consistency of database before and after the transaction. So all the transactions have follow these properties. So there are total four acid properties. Here A stands for atomicity, C stands for consistency, I stands for isolation and D stands for durability. If you follow all these acid properties, so your data database always is in consistent state. There are no any errors or failures have occurred. Right? That's why there are acid properties. Next. Now, uh, this acid properties or explain acid properties. This is one of the most important question in your exam. So you need to explain all these properties with examples. So the first property is atomicity. While atomicity, you must remember this thing. Either all transaction have performed or none of the transaction have performed. This is the rule of atomicity. Right? Now just focused here in this example. In this T1 transaction, CPU have performed different transaction right on the database like read A, then A minus 100, write of A, after that they read B and write B. So while they performing the transaction, suppose some error have occurred before the commit statement, right? Commit statement generally used to store all the data in database permanently. So before commit statement, some errors have occurred. So at that time, this particular ins instruction or transaction get into the rollback state. Rollback state means they again start from the first instruction. Okay. So either this thing is happen in atomicity or we perform all the transaction and at the end commit means all this data have stored permanently in database. So this is called as atomicity. Either transaction performs successfully or none of the transaction have performed. And this is the responsibility of transaction control manager. They ensure that atomicity of transaction. Now let's see here some real life example that is movie ticket booking. When you book a particular ticket of the movie. So at that time first there is a login window. After that you select a movie, select a center, date, time. And next when you go to next window for payment purpose. So some what, what happened? There are some server error or payment error is there, right? So at that time this is get into the rollback state means again you log in the system again you fill the details right so this is called as atomicity either all the transaction have performed and none of the transaction have performed clear next the next property is consistency so consistency simply means before and after the transaction the value in database must be same this is a called as consistency property so this property ensure that integrity constraints Let's see how. Now just focused here on these two database. There is a first database that is account A and in this account 3000 rupees and account B having 4000 rupees. Means before transaction there are total 7000 rupees. Right? This is your first step. In second step, see here, this is a T1 transaction. So what, we, what was the approach of this T1 transaction? They send 1000 rupees from account A to account B. Okay, this is a problem statement. So first they read how much money in their account. So the read of A, read of A means there are total 3000 rupees in the account. So A minus 1000, they send 1000 to account B or T2. So after sending 1000, they again updated value into the database means right of A. So 2000 have stored into this account A now and commit means this transaction performed successful. Now this 1000 sent to T2 transaction. Now in this T2, first they read how 
much money in their account in the database so read of b that is account p so there are 4000 rupees before the transaction right so b plus 1000 t1 send 1000 to t2 so b plus 1000 that is 5000 so right of b means this new value that is 5000 have updated in this particular database right and after that commit means transaction have successful clear so now after this transaction see here after the transaction in t1 there are how much rupees have remaining 2000 rupees because 1000 is sent to account b right and after the transaction in t2 before 4000 rupees it gets 1000 so 4000 plus 1000 5000 in this account right now make the total before transaction 3000 plus 4000 7000 rupees and after the transaction here is 2000 1000 sent here account b so 4000 plus 1000 5000 right so 2000 and 5000 equal to 7000 right so before transaction 7000 rupees and after the transaction 7000 rupees this is called as consistency and this is the responsibility of dbms application programmer they handle this consistency of the database right means there is no any loss of information and no any loss of money this is called as consistency state clear next the next is isolation next property so isolation simply means you can perform multiple transaction independently on the same database this is called as isolation so isolation exactly means separation means you can perform two or more transactions simultaneously on the database see here there is a t1 transaction and t2 transaction so this transaction have performed on this database and this transaction have performed in database right means any changes that occur in particular transaction will not be seen by other transaction t1 doesn't know about t2 transaction t2 doesn't know about t1 transaction means every transaction perform independently right on the same database this is called as isolation but this thing is happen until the changes is not committed okay when t1 transaction mention the commit here so at that time this data have updated in database right so isolation property is just occur before the commit okay see here this all operation is called as n minus 1 operation and n means commit so isolation happens only in n minus 1 state right means you can perform two or more transaction simultaneously on the same database until commit have perform clear this is called as isolation next and last property is durability so durability simply means successful transaction and permanently data have stored if failure have occur see durability means permanency permanent data okay when you perform the transaction and when you get into the commit state commit means your data have successfully stored or permanently stored in database right and after storing data if some errors have occur so that error does not affect on the database because you perform the commit and data already stored successfully or permanently right so this is the responsibility of recovery manager recovery manager handle this durability in the database right so durability means permanently data have stored and after that some errors have occur this does not affect on the database clear next so all about is... acid properties keep learning thank you